Hello. In this chapter, I will introduce user accessible quantities and direct variable access. At first, I will explain what is user accessible quantities. After that, I will show the use case of UAQ. Third, I will introduce what is direct variable access. And at last, I will show some examples of DVA. So let's get started. The first part, what is user accessible quantities? Kamaker is a C code based simulation software. There are many C code variables. Normally, the user cannot get access to these variables. In this time, we bring data dictionary concept. If the internal C code variables are added to data dictionary, the user can get access to the variables. And we call these variables user accessible quantities. What we can do with user accessible quantities? We could use UAQs to store the simulation results. Second, we could also watch the UAQs in IPG Movie or IPG Control. At last, we could also use DVA function to read or overwrite the values of UAQs. I will explain this function later. So, except the already defined UAQs in Kamaker, we could also use C code, Simlink, or real time expressions to define the new UAQs. Here's the questions. Where can we find the name of all the quantities and how to use it? To answer the first question, I will open the reference menu to help us to find all the name of UAQs. Now, in reference menu, you can see there is one chapter, User Accessible Quantities. So if we have a look at driving maneuvers, there are different names. Name UAQ, name Secret, name Comic for Simlink, and also there are the description of each quantities. If we want to use UAQ, we should choose this name, for example, DM Break. And also in Mini Maneuver here, we could also find the UAQs. Here, if we could right click and choose the browser, now you could also find all the quantities. If we choose DM break here, okay, now you could use this name. At last, we could have a look at the UAQs in IPG control. So in this list, you could also find all the UAQs. And if we want to choose DM break here, click, and we can see the values in IPG control. So that is the usage of UAQ. Before I introduce the DVA function, let's have a look at CarMaker May Simulation Cycle. The simulation starts from the left to the right. There are many different modules. For example, Drive Main module. The DM gas is calculated by manual control. We also have vehicle control module. This module has VC gas. Sometimes, if we want to not only read the values, but also overwrite the values, in this time, we could use DVA functions. There are many possibilities. We can use DVA after DM module or after break control to read the UAQ's name and overwrite the value. I will show some examples to explain the usage of DVA function. Now I will open DVA dialog. Under application, we can find this option. So you can see this dialog. At the left, there is a quantity. We could choose one UAQs and, for example, DM, 
there are two types of UEQs. The first, the UEQs with blue font. These UEQs are overreadable, but there are also the normal UEQs. They cannot be overwritten. We could just read the value. So I will give two examples. First, DM break, and another one is DM speed limit. So you can see the difference between these two UAQs. First, DM break. Now the value, we could read the current value of the UAQs. And also we can set the group for many UAQs. Here, we could set the new value for this UAQ and set the duration. The unit is millisecond, but for the DM speed limit, we cannot do that. And here in IPG control, we can see that the standard break value is 0.5. I want to overwrite it. For example, I want to give it 0.8. Here we could define the duration, but I want to overwrite this value all the time. So I give it minus one. I set this value and start the simulation. Let us have a look at the output. You can see that the output, it is always zero. Point eight. Not only in the DVA dialog, we could also use DVA in mini maneuver command. Before we use it, we should follow this format. DVA write is a prefix. If we want to use this function, we must add this prefix. And then it is a quantity's name. In the example here, we use DM break. Next is mode. We have different modes. For example, apps specifies the absolute value. Off could define an offside which is added to the current value. And you could find more information in user's guide. Then we need to define the duration. The unit is millisecond. If here is 5000, it means it is 5 seconds. After the duration, we need to define the value. If we choose ABS mode, we just need to define one value. If we use fact off, fact ramp, we also need to define the second value. If we use ramp, we also need to define the number of cycles. Let's go back to this example. Before this comment, we could also set the conditions. If this condition is fulfilled, the DM break will be overwritten to 0.5 in 5 seconds. I will show you one example. Let us have a look at the first example. This is a basic braking test run. The first maneuver is acceleration, and the second, we give a 0.5 brake value. You can see here the brake value. So if we want to override this brake value in some conditions, we could use DVA. Here I will give one example here. I copy this comment to here. You can see that we use a UEQ drive maneuver time. If this time is bigger than 10, and then we use 0.8 to override 0.5 this value in five seconds. Let's have a look at the outputs. So I will start a simulation. And you can see that after 10 seconds, the value is 0.8 and in five seconds go back to 0.5. So this is the first example. I will show another example. In some cases, we want to change the value continuously. So in this time, we could use the ramp mode. 
and we copy this comment here, you can see that the drum maneuver time is bigger than, than 10 and then the value will be increased from 0 0.5 to 0 0.8. Because this is apps ramp mode, we also need to define the number of cycles. Now it is 3000. It means in 3 seconds, the value of 0 0.5 will be increased to 0 0.8 continuously. See, let, let us have a look what are the outputs. So you can see here, there is a ramp. After 10 seconds, in 3 seconds, the value 0 0.5 will be increased to 0 0.8 and the left 2 seconds, it will remain the 0 0.8 value and then go back to 0 0.5. This is a use case of apps ramp. Okay, until now, I introduced all the functions. Thanks for your attention.